Welcome everybody to the Spurs 9501 uh, chat. Spurs versus Manchester City or City versus Spurs, whichever way you want to see it. It was an away game, a game we had to get something from. Why did we have to get something from? Because I believe that since 1992, we have not had such a worse run where we've lost four games on a trot. And I don't think Ange would have liked that on this record, especially after he has another record, obviously, first 10 games without a loss. So, <laughs> excuse me. It was really important to get something out of this game. Watching Son's first goal, I mean, against really against the run of play, I thought, wow, we may have a chance here. We may actually stand a chance of doing something, of achieving something here. But it was a great run. It was a great ball um, to him, from I think from Kulaseski. And um, it was just a, 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 gr a great, great finish. I'm so glad that he took it on himself rather than pass it to Brennan Johnson because uh, that would have probably may have been intercepted and he just took, took the keeper on and, and slotted it where he needed to. One little to Spurs. And then the calamity. Defensively, errors coming in, giving away cheap free kicks, stupid free kicks. And then we get punished. Obviously, this time it was unlucky for Son. It was a goal. It didn't know anything about it. Came off uh, Harlan's head, hit his knee, and went into the corner. What can you do about that? But it seems to happen a lot to Spurs, though, doesn't it? And I'll tell you why it happens a lot to us. It's because we put ourselves in situations where we don't need to be. We don't need to be putting ourselves under ridiculous pressure. You may recall that for the second goal, we gave away a needless corner, needless corner, no pressure, nothing going on, and he knocks it right out, and the next thing you know, it's 2-1 to, to, to City, and they're cruising, by which time, I thought in the first half, the way things were going, it could have been 4-5-6, 6-1, uh, I mean, you know, uh, Doku rattled off crossbar, um, but, uh, Bernardo Silva hit the, hit the, hit the uh, upright, I mean, uh, the chances that they had were just ridiculous, but, you know, um, we, we held out, we held out to 2-1 until the second half, I don't know how we did that, but we held out to 2-1. Uh, something had to give, and from what Kula was saying, um, or Deki as they like to call him, uh, Ange went crazy on them. Said that they were just making stupid schoolboy errors, and to go out there and start playing some football. I mean, I, 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 I was shocked at some of the ridiculous errors that were sort of creeping into the Spurs game, and I don't understand why this keeps happening at Tottenham, why they can't behave more professionally, because you cannot ri rise in this table unless you er start to admit some of the errors. The difference between the best team and the worst team is the lack of errors, my, in my opinion. And that goes to the third goal, doesn't it? The third goal for City. I mean, what was he thinking? What the hell was Bissouma thinking when he gave that when he tried to nutmeg the player? got caught out like a fool, gave the ball away, and basically um, gifted them, gifted Grealish, Grealish a goal. Um, that made it 3-2. I'll go back to the first goal because I thought the South side had a really good game. I thought he ca carried on, he never stopped. He kept going uh, and, and just fully rightly rewarded with that goal and he could have had a second one with that second shot that he took <laughs> that came off for the player. Um, what a shame that that was that like was heading straight into the goal too. So we had our chances. We made some stupid errors and stupid mistakes again. And again, and a team against like City, of course, you're going to get punished. Luckily, I mean, we carried on, and I, I was so impressed with the way that we carried on and, and, and carried on fighting for that third goal. The 90th minute, when Kulusevski uh, shouldered in the ball, uh, doesn't matter with the shoulder or head, it's still a goal. And that's what matters. Uh, managed to stay on side. I think it was a great ball in again. I think it was Brennan Johnson that put that ball in. Brilliant. So what I'm going to say is uh, um, there's some really good signs with such a weak team with nobody at the back with no, no centre back really. Um, we seem to have held our own. Uh, Harlan had a couple of chances but he just was not on his game. Lucky for us because then he had a basic and empty net which he missed. So that was very lucky for Spurs. And um, they didn't take their chances, very much like what we did against Villa. Um, when other teams don't take their chances, they manage to squeak, squeak out a draw. When we don't, we end up losing. So scoring three goals at City and not winning is a disappointment. But, you know, we can only get better from here, I hope. We have to beat West Ham. That's just a no-brainer. We have to beat West Ham. 27 points, fifth spot, beat West Ham, and you've got a chance of staying in the top four. Don't beat West Ham, then I think it's game over for the top four for Spurs. I know it's early in the season. I'm going to eat my words after Christmas when our players come back. But uh, we 
we've got to we've got to keep on winning, guys. Keep on winning or try to keep winning. We still haven't won in four games. We've got to win the next game against West Ham. Pesme signing out. Thank you.